Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving it back into Papa and Daddy 2. We're diving into episode 2. It's been about a month, month and a half since I first reacted to episode 1. Um, so I'm excited to dive back into this and just see where the things or the things lead us. Um, it seems as though there was a bit of a time jump between the end of the first series and the beginning of the second series where um, Damien and Jerry are currently well they were at least at the start of the first episode living apart because Jimmy came to town and Jimmy's like oh hey yeah this is my daddy and Jerry is like I'm sorry you you you, you got this 25 year old son here and you didn't think you could tell me at any point in the last couple over exaggerating but Yes, there was a strain on the relationship, so he seemed to have taken um, Kai with him and s staying with his parents. Um, but then Damien took Jimmy down there to visit them, and you could see as uh, Jerry was starting to get to know Jimmy a little bit more, he started to soften up towards him, but Jimmy's still going back to America allegedly his mom's coming to pick him up we'll see how that works out maybe it will maybe it won't but we're just gonna dive in and see where episode two takes us Okay, take two. So I got like two, three minutes into that last episode before I realized that I was watching season one, episode two, because like there was, we were, we were in a flashback and I was like, okay, they're flashing back, showing me some whatever. But I'm like, a lot of this feels so familiar. Why does this feel so familiar? Like, I get it. Like, yes, I probably saw this flashback at some point, but like, man. And then I realized, no, that's the same actor from before who's playing um, Jerry right now. I'm like, oh, wait, 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 this, this is season one. So, okay. <laughs> We're in the correct season now. <laughs> Everything I said about the intro still stands. I'm in episode two. <laughs> Lord. Ah, Pan Jelly, how beautiful of a girl! Is it your friend? How frightening! Yes. She seems so disinterested in being here. Mom, you gotta pay me to keep the secret. Shut up. <laughs> This is your little sweetie. Oh, you are. 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 Jimmy, we need to talk. <laughs> Let Dad and his friend catch up first. Friend? Ooh, Joe. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. a friend in this friend. house. Bro, pay Bro. Bro. Joe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clearly nobody talking about nothing in <laughs> Lord. Damien, uh, I'm going to go out and go out. Do you want to leave or stay with me? I love Damien and Jared.
OK， 好，我觉得我纱不够哎，你可以再去帮爸爸装纱吗？来，这个铲子带着。Gotta come out here with your heels. I'm really want to talk to you. I heard Jimmy say you're here. I see he's very familiar with you. What did I do? Why you want to talk to me? Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. First, I'll ask you a favor. Jimmy just came out and scared you. Oh, this is not your fault. You don't have to ask for it. Jimmy 这个孩子，从小爸爸就不在身边，又没有兄弟姐妹，所以特别依赖我。我交男朋友以后，可能有点分散对他的注意力，他觉得我不够爱他了。再加上他跟我男朋友个性又不合，一天到晚吵，所以这一次，他才突然决定跑来要找戴冕，真是不好意思、啊。I mean, it's a good thing because the truth finally came out. I've never told him about this. So I'm always very hard to explain. Because Jimmy, for me, is like a stranger coming into my family. Talking about this, I'm going to ask you to help me with the money. Yes, I'm going to ask you to help me with the money. Yes, I'm going to ask you to help me with the money. Yes, I'm going to ask you to help me with the money. Yes, I'm going to ask you to help me with the money. 所以我是跟他说，你们两个是室友，凯凯是你的小孩，这一点，请你帮我一起保密。Come on, have have they already broken that secret? 接受。居民会这样吗？你不要看他好像很洋派。Did we keep it a secret the first episode? Maybe I gotta go back and watch, but I just I just assumed that it was common knowledge, but. Dad. Are you top or bottom? Oh, sorry, you don't have to tell me. I know this is too much for some. You have a mating ages. I'm gonna say that he knows some things. Okay. 好啊，没问题，我帮你一起保密。谢谢。Yes, girl. I'll keep it a secret. Don't worry. 来这边跟爸爸待在一块也不错。不过现在，我决定马上带他回美国，就不打扰你们了。其实我幻想过我们见面的样子，只是没想到是这样。我是没有特别想要见你们啦。不过凯凯很可爱。恭喜你们！谢谢。在海边走走也不错啊，我去踏踏水。嗨！啊，你们在玩什么？没事。哦。Of course it hurts. You got to get some real ass shoes walking on all these shells, girl. The beach and heels. I mean, I get it. She didn't come prepared for a beach trip, but. 这边。大车车。干嘛租车啊？啊，我的车子拿去保养啊，所以想说租大一点，大家坐的会比较舒服嘛。上车。The nerve of her to take the front seat, girl. You are the guest here, ma'am. Kakai, look, you're covered in sand. Papa, help me clean it up. 
Okay, that's the secret we're keeping from her. Lord, it's hard for me to keep up with what's a secret and what's not a secret, what's common knowledge in this universe. Although I feel like if she thinks that Kai is Jimmy's, Jerry's, she thinks Kai is Jerry's kid, and obviously Jerry and, um, why did I want to say Maurice? No, Lord. Melvin. Lord. No, Melvin's the actor's name. Lord. Damien. Jesus. If Jerry and Damien are together, like obviously she knows that, I don't think it'd be a huge surprise them being together and his son calling him Something. dad. Really? So I don't know why we were no having kidding. this reaction. Yeah, like, oh my god, we gotta keep this a secret. It's real deal. So good. Hey, I was fine. Like, even if it's Damien's kid and not Jerry's oh, kid, like, still, mm -hmm. I don't know why we're keeping it. Kicking the shorts off. Jimmy来找你的原因啊。我们跟Jimmy说了会美国的事。所以这几天会好好陪陪他们。感觉Jimmy这几天玩得很开心。他应该很不愿意回去吧。我答应过他会去美国找他的。爸爸，我等下可以叫Jimmy Bro 吗？可以啊，可以。看看，你可以叫Jimmy Bro，不过今天你只能够叫我叔叔。我们今天来玩叔叔的游戏，好不好？嗯？嗯。Look, I don't know this one. Okay，我们先下车吧。Let's go. So why are we pretending that you are not his dad? <laughs> I because mean, again, she knows you guys are together. Maybe it's a maybe it's a linguistic thing, and just how the translations are translating it to dad. But it might mean a specific kind of dad or father over there. Like the word they're using for dad might have some particular context. Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, how's it <laughs> Now's not the time. Stick to the uncle game. <laughs> but also, if you want to put your money on me, that's fine too. Mom,要钱就会找我。那我们吃什么好啊？有推荐的吗？你这么辣，你就应该吃韩式水饺。好辣。OK，OK，OK。你呢？生细的就吃白菜水饺。白菜系。<laughs> <Okay, okay, okay. laughs> <laughs> 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 <Okay, okay. laughs> 感觉还行。嗯，你看起来像beach <笑> 你还说不可能，你看人家都追过来了。好嘛，你不要紧张啊，他是来把居民带回去。对啊，好。那我很酷呀，吃什么？Ice。Ice。吃冰了，Poman。Ice。Okay, but can I get some too? 太好太好，谢谢谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。来，坐下来吃。
，没关系，我做这边就可以了。Or too many secrets being kept for no goddamn reason. So we're over here pretending that y'all aren't Jimmy. a couple for the sake of keeping Jimmy yeah, in the dark nice. to something that he's already yeah, in the light. So Don't try to be a father all the time. Hey, watch your attitude. So. <laughs> ah, baby. 啊，吉米，这个给你。嗯，谢谢爹爹。哦，你看，我就说嘛，用筷子可以夹得比较远一点。So why? Just get your food. Why did we not just tell her that he already knows that we're big old homosexuals? Why are Why are we keeping this a secret from her? 啊啊，还弄到嘴巴了。啊吃到满嘴都是啦。买好了，走吧。老，啊、d a m i e n 我还有点事，就不陪你们了。为什么？嗯，哦，我这几个餐厅都还没找，要去准备一下，你们玩的开心点。哦，那可可以陪我们玩一天。那我就先走了哦，还是交给你照顾了。你不进去啊？晚上回家见。好，小心。进去吧。Let's go. I'll see you later, Rumi. I do love the instrumentals they use for this series. Come and see it. Okay, this can be sworn, can be held up. Like this. Yes, held. Okay, can I lock it? Okay. Go. I swear to God, if you wish to get 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 Damien back, I, 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 won't, I won't. But I'll be very, very mad, Kate. So Kate only gets one picture. <laughs> Maybe it's like 17 with the kids. Okay. Hello, Chen. Another one. Yes. Hello. 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 巧的是，小高主厨刚好是我的高中同学，想请问，原来你是小高主厨的同学啊？他刚好外出还没回来哎，还是你要不要进去等他一下？好啊，好，那这个麻烦我帮我先走，谢谢。嗯。Those girls are there like I had to make a reservation. I'm over here waiting, and you just let this man walk, roll up, come in here just because he says that he's he's his classmate. 我不是他女朋友哎。先请，旁边沙发等一下哦，谢谢。谢谢 OK， 给你,给你一点。<笑>有哈、哦，好。有没有？有没有
，耶、yeah. ！哇，厉害啊！一，这边拍，拍。哦，太太。<笑>叔叔跟弟弟傻傻分不清楚哦。你猜傻，我在跟弟弟玩叔叔游戏。哦，凯凯好棒哦！待会我买冰淇淋给你吃，好不好？ Maybe we wait until Kate's not looming around to have this conversation. Obviously, he doesn't know that she's there, but still. 好多哦，你们。又过了，还用跑？买好了。对啊。我们去那边买冰淇淋吧。好，走，我们去买冰淇淋喽。很大只哈，乌龟。招财猫。你们那边？要什么色？好。Hello。Instrumental. Ah, this one. Oh Lord Jesus! Hello. Little Jie, long time no see. 什么时候回来花莲的？怎么没先跟我说一声？我以为你还在日本、啊。Do, do, we, do we welcome all of our guests like this with big old glasses of wine and sitting so close? 开玩笑，你是谁？你是潘杰利，人生中第一个和我告白的人。再往后留时间给你吧。天哪，你还记得，好丢脸哦！干嘛害羞啊？哎。但我们说好了，既然你今天来了，就坐着好好享用我的料理，哪里都不许去。But why are you whispering so sensually to me with this glass of wine, sir? You're gonna make me my favorite meal. John, you're trying to get me to commit adultery right now, and I, I am a, I'm a lady. I'm a child of God, and I would never. Sir, my behavior. Hmm. Maybe. 赶快吃，试试看。再来给他吃，嗯。哇，慢慢吃。这道是什么？澳洲纯血带骨牛小排。哦，哇！嗯，吃。You're gonna make me all these specialty dishes while you got this smooth jazz in the background. We sipping on some wine. No, we catching up. We having conversation. 是什么？你记不记得我们有讨论过一件事情？明明花莲最有名的是马吉，但是我们却一家好吃的都没有找到。我们那时候像神经病一样，一家一家吃，一家一家。Well, she's not quite for me. Um, I tried it at a restaurant a couple months ago. Um, they actually gave it to us for free because they totally messed up our orders and whatnot. And maybe it was just the restaurant. I don't know, but it, something texturally about it just it, it, it wasn't quite for me. 你家巷口的阿妈，我就说你记得吗？哦，啊，你怎么会？我那时候就一直如阿妈，他才愿意把这个秘方传授给我。好吃吧？怀念吗？还有没有？等一下，还有，再一个，再一个。<笑>如果他不是已经结婚了，有孩子，我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我
看看你还记不记得这个。All I'm saying is, if it was friends catching up, they didn't have to play this soft and romantic jazz music. 是烧腊。嗯。高中时期最爱的那家烧腊店。You remember a lot about me from high school, baby. 你竟然还记得啊？那个老板是一个很凶的香港老头。嗯。每次我们都待到人家快打烊，才离开，然后他就会凶巴巴地盯着。对，你知道吗？后来老板因为没有下一代继承，所以他要关店，也是我一直去撸他，他才愿意把食谱分享给我。我想我也应该有帮他传承到吧。嗯。哎、欸，潘小姐，你说我之后当上大厨了，你会不会吃我煮的？你那么受欢迎，一堆人都不吃。Okay, but how many glasses of wine are we in at this point? Cause this this music needs to calm the fuck down. Okay, you are a married man. This music needs to calm down. Hello. Hmm. I'm almost done. Are you drunk? Why? Now I don't have any freedom. Oh. Oh, You need to stop looking at me this way, sir. My legs can only be so wide open right now. Thank you. 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 Bitch. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, you're very important to a lot of people. Don't do it. Some, yeah, that we could say that. Kate, 后天的飞机也会把居民带走。我们很快就可以恢复正常的生活。这么赶，不多待几天，他还要回去办婚礼，还有很多事情要忙的。这次是专门回来把金敏带走，不是来玩的。感觉金敏这几天玩的很开心，应该不想回去吧？你来接。Speak up for me, girl. It's like I need some adult in this fight who's fighting for me. He appeared after you and Kai Kai were just living in the garden. Actually, I know that we both are wrong. It's my fault. I didn't handle the situation properly. But if
Good, you better not. Don't put blame this on me. Hmm, sweet boy. Hmm. This is them two to you. You bet all he loves me, he loves me not with this onion. <laughs> She's like, I had enough of this. Y'all ain't fighting hard enough. No, it's not good. Boy. I will try my best. Book any fun. It's like, girl, you don't gotta convince me. I want your ass to stay. <laughs> Talk to your mama. I can stay. I mean, that's up to your daddy or your mama. I'm just the mistress on the side, apparently. Welcome to our family. Again, we, we, we gotta discuss this with mama. It, it's. It's nice, to, it's nice to say that you're welcome to stay, but we still need to discuss it with Mama and get the final because she is still the, the, the boy's mother. I can't cut. Come on, crap top. Jimmy, why you unpack your luggage? Answer my question. Because. I'm not leaving. What do you mean you're not leaving? Again, this conversation we should have had before she came to pick him up. Jimmy, I need to talk with your dad. Out. <laughs> yes, these, these are not the kind of decisions Out. you make on your own. As the person who I assume has the full custody of Jimmy. I mean, the day he arrived. Mm -hmm. You're such a liar. Mm -hmm. I'm a joke. I'm leaving. Hey, Cat. Okay. okay, I definitely enjoyed this episode more than I did the first episode. Not that the first episode was bad, but I remember, I don't know if I verbalized it because it's been like a month and a half since I watched it, um, but I remember thinking to myself like, this just feels different, and not that different is necessarily bad like from the first series but there's just something about it that i was like mm, 
I don't know. This doesn't have the same... I don't know. It just didn't grab me the same way the first season did. Um, but this episode uh, kind of kind of gives me those similar feelings that I felt that I have like nostalgically in the back of my head when I think of the first season of Papa and Daddy. Um, there was I don't know, just interesting interesting character exploration. Like the whole okay, we're gonna put up this ruse and we're gonna lie to Kate for reasons I, I, I don't know. I I don't know. That don't make no damn earthly sense to me. Why we couldn't just have told her when she arrived. Like, oh yeah, no, he, he don't worry. He already knows we're gay. He's fine. Because she's sitting here thinking, oh, I want to keep you guys a secret because, you know, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to accept you guys, blah, 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 blah. Now, was that actually her saying he? she wasn't sure if he was going to be able to accept her or if she was not so much supportive of the, the homosexual lifestyle and just didn't want her son involved? Like, I don't know what that reasoning is stemming from because obviously Jimmy had been fine with it since day one. So either she was just misguided and does not know her son as well as she thought she did or she was projecting something out there and saying that the, she was worried about him for blah blah blah. But obviously Jimmy's fine. Jimmy been fine with the idea of them together since day one. He 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 he, he, he want Papa and Daddy too. He 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 got his little brokai. He 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 having a good old time. He's fine. He's like fine. Who's the top? Who's the bottom? Y- y'all need some advice here. I'll go get y'all some lubes here. here. Like he, Jimmy, fine. He, he he don't give a fuck about this relationship. Um, so why we needed to do this whole song and dance to, you know, keep Kate in the dark about things that everyone, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it seems unnecessary, but, you know, we, we can't have these series, none of these series that we watch on TV, whether it's a BL, a GL, a, nor, a you know, an action, a comma, a comma, a comedy, a drama, whatever. Like, there are so many of these series that just wouldn't happen if people didn't make silly decisions. If people didn't keep secrets for whatever reason, there's so many of these shows that just wouldn't happen. And yes, I know there's so many times when you hear me guys screaming, honest conversation, because like I just feel like an honest conversation would save us so much trouble. But yes, I know at the end of the day, if everybody just had an honest conversation all the time, then we wouldn't have any series. We'd have no drama. We wouldn't have any of this going on. So from a storytelling perspective, I get it. But for me, just like a... Why, why can't we just tell her that, that, that he already knows? I, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. That that whole thing in itself put a strain on the relationship, the already strained relationship um, Jerry and Damien were having. Um, because it's only a second episode. And again, we're c- coming back into this relationship after they've had time apart. They've had time apart from one another. Um and their relationships have been very, very strained since Jimmy came into the picture. So now we're kind of, we started seeing them, you know, incorporate or just get kind of back to that family dynamic a little bit, coming together. There's still strain between Jimmy and Damien, but, you know, we're working, we're trying. And that's one thing I love about this series, and I probably mentioned it when I was watching the first season. It's, A, it's um, starting with peop- with men who are already in an established relationship. It's not taking me through the courting phase and, oh, does he love me? Does he not love me? Oh, we got to be boyfriends. So, like, no, we've already made it past that. And then we get some nice flashbacks to how that happened. But we're already in this established long-term relationship. And what we're dealing with now is we're seeing the problems that could arise in a long-term relationship. It's not like some of the other series where, you know, they're, we're, they're just getting together, they're just starting to fall in love, and all of the conflict we're getting is from, like, outside forces trying to keep them apart or trying to, you know, interject themselves into the relationship or this, that, and the other. It's all of the stuff we saw in season one was more just within the confines of, hey, this is our relationship, this is how we're facing this problem together as a couple, blah, 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 blah. So here we're exploring, again, just more of those adult relationship problems where it's like, yes, there could this very well could be a situation, a very common situation. 
very common situation not just for you know gay couples or straight couples just anyone like there are a lot of people out there who could be with someone for a very long time only to discover one day that oh they have a kid with someone else that they just didn't tell me about a past relationship that they just neglected to tell me about all of a sudden a kid shows up on the doorstep and yes so it's dealing with that and then having to put on this whole ruse to you know try and placate kate um even though it's unnecessary but you could see how having to keep up that sort of shenanigan was starting to weigh heavily on jerry throughout the day it was just weighing heavily on him and he was starting to feel a little bit unimportant he was starting to feel a little neglected and again the relationship was already strained from before so like these are just things that are compounding um and again these were things that happen in relationships if you've been together with someone long enough eventually sure feelings change sometimes every day is not going to be sunshine and roses every day is not going to be you know the most romantic day of your life we're going to do some big extravagant some days you know you might feel like your partner doesn't see you the way that they used to see you some days you might feel like your partner doesn't quite care for you the way that they used to care for you it doesn't mean that they don't but again every day sometimes you just don't put in the 100 percent effort every single day and you know when you're around somebody that long you're bound to get on each other's nerves you're bound to get fall into this like i don't know complacency this rut um where like yeah everything's just kind of routine um and i like that sort of exploration of those feelings um and then when jerry went on his own because, you know, he just couldn't stand being around them anymore. Well, not that he couldn't stand being around them anymore, but he was, again, just visibly, emotionally drained from the experience of being around them. Um, when he's like, okay, well, I've, I've got a restaurant, I've got to go check, blah, blah, blah. And then he looked up and he found one that his old high school friend was at, um, which I, I assume is going to play some part. <laughs> Granted, there's only like six episodes left in the series, but I... I assume it's good. I don't think they would have brought this character into the picture if he wasn't going to play some relevant part a little bit later. Uh, or I don't think they would have showed him as much attention if he wasn't going to play a bigger part. Um, but yeah, bringing Jerry to his restaurant and then just showing the fun and the shenanigans that was like, it felt like such a out of context like if i weren't watching the series and i just saw that scene i'd be like man this they they are in love this is such a romantic little setting here oh my goodness this is so sweet um but in context obviously jerry's married and i don't know who this friend is but i'm assuming jerry just saw him as a friend um but this friend seems to remember every striking thing about jerry and i don't think this friend sees jerry as just a friend or at least i feel like he's had some crush or had some pining for him for a while um i don't know how much she knows about jerry's current life whether he knows that jerry's married kids blah 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 but like he he clearly there is something there so and again these are things that happen in real life relationships sometimes people are together long enough where like i said they, they get in this rut they get stuck in this sort of complacency and maybe they don't try as hard as they did in the earlier parts of the relationship and it makes one or both partners feel like okay maybe maybe they don't love me the way they used to maybe they don't appreciate me the way they, they used to but then you run into someone who shows you all of this attention you know that new fresh blood and not that you're looking for something new or you're looking to step out but that attention that like genuine oh this person seems interested invested in me they actually seem to care about me sort of thing that i'm not getting from my significant other maybe my significant other is not the person for me maybe he's not the right person maybe like these are all just real human thoughts, real human feelings. Um, and I like that we're exploring that. I like that we didn't jump directly into infidelity because I don't, I don't want to see that. I, I'm a big proponent of um, fidelity. And I've said it a number of times in various series, um, I would rather you just end the relationship than cheat. Don't, don't, don't you know me. 
if you if you feel the need that you need to move on elsewhere fine move on elsewhere that that's great let me go so i can go on my way too but don't don't cheat on me don't mm -mm. I'm, I'm glad we didn't cross into that bridge yet there's still potential because we got six episodes left um but the friend is cute a friend is cute um and the friend seems sweet and i i'm glad that the friends seem to at least have some sense of boundaries um because, like, obviously there was some, there was chemistry between the two of them. And it seemed to be a very nice, flirtatious, reminiscent walk down memory lane for them in that restaurant. Um, but then when Jerry's like, oh, I've got a gun, it's like, oh, I guess you're not as free as you used to be. Um, and then, you know, he took him home and he's, like, waking him up. Like, all of these moments are, like stereotypical moments I could see in any series, any whether it's a BL series or whatever, but especially a BL series. Uh, ideal candidate moment for that other person to go in and make his move, to go in for the kiss or blah 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 blah. So I love that this character did not do that. I love that we did not take that character down that road because I like this character and I, 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 I don't need him to go down that road. Um, yeah, so I like, I just like how this series explores more adult problems. Um, not always, you know, do we always have the best solutions? No, but, you know, it's, I still like the exploration of these problems. Um, when it comes to Kate and Jerry, like I was saying there during that last scene, like, it's all well and good, or not Jerry, Jimmy. Like I was saying, it's all well and good that you guys have welcomed Jimmy into your family, and I'm happy. I'm very happy. And I could see it from last episode that Jerry was really starting to take a liking to Jimmy, and I felt like there was going to be some sort of, even though Kate was coming to collect him, I felt like there was going to be some sort of turn in the dynamic, and, you know, Jimmy might end up saying and whatnot. So I'm that whole scene in the kitchen where he's like with the onion and like stay go stay go blah 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 i'm like oh baby because like obviously we already know he wants him to stay but like he's he, he, he's very emotional acting's uh, really really good um and then jimmy comes running out no don't don't let me don't let me go i'm I, I, it's just me there i'm so sad I, i'll take care of my brother i'll stop playing games i'll do better in school please just love me i'm like oh poor baby he just he, he wants love he's just crying out for love and attention children <laughs> that's what they want um but yeah it's all well and good it's nice that you guys decided that okay i'm fine with him staying i'm welcoming him to my family but that's not a decision you can make without the consent of his mother if for no other reason than the fact that I'm pretty sure she is the only one here who has legal guardianship over this kid. Um, because Damien been over out here in Taiwan for God knows how many years and may have visited at some point. I don't remember all the backstory. Um, may have visited them at some point, but he's not been very prevalent in Jimmy's life. So I'm pretty sure that he... This, he's relinquished his um, guardianship. I'm looking for the word. I can't think of the word I want right now. But I'm pretty sure that she's the person who has custody. That's the word. I'm pretty sure she's the person who has the legal custody over this child. So while it's nice that you guys welcomed him in the family, you can't make the decision that he's going to stay without her input and without her consent because, again, she is the boy's mother who's been his legal guardian for the last 13 years, however many years of his life. So she kind of needs to be included in that decision. Um, so I can understand her frustration and running out there at the end. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see where the things go from here. So yeah, all in all, I really enjoyed this episode, and I'm excited to dive into the next one. So we're just going to dive into the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. Don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.
And before you guys go, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone supporting me over on Patreon. This channel would not be what it is today without your continued support, and I can't begin to thank you guys enough for all you've done for me. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video.